Yo, 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 what's good, everybody? It's your boy Brandon, also known as the Georgia Picker, and I'm here with the wifey. Hey. And uh, it is Saturday morning. It is currently uh, 8.04. We're starting up a little bit late. Um, we were going to win two units yesterday, but they ended up getting canceled. So I'm trying to do more storage units. I really am, but at the same time, I'm not going to be buying dumb units. I want to go after the ones that has a lot of quantity, uh, you know, stuff that's actually quality, stuff that I'm interested in. Um, you know, at the end of the day, I'm a reseller, and uh, yes, there is things for content purposes but you know i can't win a storage unit for a thousand dollars when there's absolutely nothing in there you know so um but i am gonna be smart about it and we will win some more eventually but it is saturday we're going going to go garage selling and the wifey is excited let's go so we're gonna hit up this community sale it's about an 18 minute drive and then kind of freestyle a little bit and there's a few other ones uh trickled in there so wish us luck and uh, don't forget to like subscribe and comment after the video and we'll see you guys at the first sale Good morning. Hey, good morning. How you doing? Good. I like your house. Oh, thank you. That's the dream for us. <laughs> We're slowly getting there. This is ours. Oh yeah? Forever home? Forever home. Awesome. Good morning. Like old test tools. Yeah, I, uh, I'm a reseller, so I, I look for like old stuff like this. Like, it's, it's definitely interesting. Yep, got uh, that's a you should be the old meters, Simpson meters. Oh, yeah, those are very collectible if you look on. Yeah, and then they work and all that. Last time, my dad. They look, I mean, they look clean. Got flukes now. So right, right, yeah, flukes are here. Yeah. Huh. So got all the cable. That one's got the yeah. Too, yeah. How much you ask them on? What do you get retail on these? I have no idea. I just, I, I usually just take a little gamble if the price ain't too much, but if it's, uh, you know, a little up there, I usually just, you know. 15 I'll, a piece? 15 a piece. Let me, uh. It's got the case, the terminals, the wires everything's there I think I'll get it. hold on I'm gonna look at it in a sec Oklahoma City Yeah, right. You resell on eBay? Yes, sir. Yeah, we've been doing it full time for about four years now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I can do 15 a piece on the on the yeah, two. That's a good deal. Yes, sir, it is. That's brand new in the box. Um, 
80 TK. I think 60 brand new. Okay. I'd do 20. Okay. I'll trust you on that one. Okay. And then, hey, I'll tell you what, I'm going to. You need a box? Yeah, I would say you can give me a box and I'll, uh, I'll throw some stuff in there and we'll uh, get a little deal going. What's probably your most collectible electronic test equipment and stuff like that? Um, Your normal snap on, blue point, um, fluke. You know, those are your. I know Robin Air is pretty good too. How about oh. precise uh, engineering tools? Like yeah, your calipers. Yeah, calipers do well, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd, yeah, I'd be interested in a little bit of all that. You've heard the Starlet? Oh, yeah, Starlet, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be interested in that too. Yep, uh, Starlet's a great brand. I don't know how to say it. Is it Starlet or Starlet? I think it's Starlet, right? It, it probably is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it probably is. I'm not big on names. Right. Yeah, any stair stuff, I, I don't mind any of that mm -hmm. stuff. Stair stuff's good. Yeah. How much you think on this one? Um, okay. Ma'am. I got a birdhouse. How much do you think? Give me $5 for both of them. All right. How, how much That's you number 440. I'm, the pieces that I thought were probably more um, collectible that I'm a air conditioning technician by okay. trade. I'm in sales now. But gotcha. I've been in, I've been in refrigeration repair type industry for forty four years. Oh wow! Now. So yeah, my dad. My dad works for the city, so he does a lot of HVAC and yeah. ele electrical stuff. Uh, and I also bought out. I had a friend of mine in the neighborhood we uh, used to live in up in mm. Atlanta. He worked for one of the um telecom companies okay he was a repair person and a lot of this stuff um I bought from, from that his, i bought from his wife uh-huh and i threw threw some of it up here that i thought was so there's a oh. test equipment that i'll never use right right that there's people out there that are just looking for this stuff i just right. haven't had time to touch yeah I like, I like your shed too. I like what you got going on. The old signs and. Oh yeah, yep. That's an old one. That's. Uh... Wiggy. See, I never heard of that one. Wiggy. Oh yeah. Does the coke machine actually work? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah, that would be interesting. In this too. Yeah. Are you trying to sell all this? I would for the right okay. uh, person. Absolutely. Uh, that, that appreciates its value. Absolutely. Fowler. I think I've heard of that before. Uh, I think this is a... Have you heard of a sling psychrometer? No, I have not. It's, it's for measuring humidity, temperature. Okay. Part of the HVAC. Okay. Uh, that's one right there. That's an old huh. one. I got yeah. A friend of mine. What is that? Multi gas detector. Mm -hmm. Is that German or Swiss? I don't even know. Draeger looks German with yeah. the double double dots. Huh, I've never seen anything like Something that. Something I'll never use, but right. it's cool. It's cool, yeah. It's cool. Yeah. And there's actually a Facebook page for people. For, yeah, like vintage this. tools and vintage stuff. Yeah. Tools and test instruments. There, there's Facebook groups for everything. There is. There <laughs> is. Like even like old school Carhartt, when you think about it back in the day, old school Carhartt were going under under the business and they yep. really weren't worth much, but all that crap's coming back because of social media and yep. and uh, it's it, it's it, it's honestly amazing yep. of what you can find out there. We we even do like abandoned storage units. Oh, do and, you? And we, yeah, we we scored one big one last uh, in yes. January, and uh, we found guns, coins, collectibles, comics. Wow, I think that actually goes with that. Okay, what this? No, this that piece there. I oh, gotcha. It, I had it out separate, but it okay. Goes goes with it gotcha um, voltage continuity tester that's probably the cheaper version of, right uh, some of the units okay I haven't been in here in a couple of years he worked for lucent technologies that's lucent technologies. lucent technologies gotcha yeah okay. a multimeter okay 
Yeah, so, I mean, I've still got some back there. Right. Are you interested? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, depending on price, you know, I'm definitely, um, definitely interested. Plus, you know, I'm getting all that stuff in that tote, too. Yeah, I mean, so so what do you think about for all this? Or anything else that you, well, you know, you're got... thinking? I mean, I won't, I'm not I'm not sure if I'll be interested in, like, the rivet gun. Yeah, uh, I don't, no, I don't, that's, that's yeah. fine. That's kind of like a dime or dozen, like, kind of like a... Probably. Yeah. Uh, Finally? No. There's another one. So, again, test equipment. It's for checking humidity. It's a right. sling cyclometer. Uh -huh. It was. It's still used today. People mm -hmm. use it whenever they're they have a house or a building that has high humidity. Right. And you're you're really dialing in the refrigerant mm -hmm. for a system, and you got to know what the you know relative humidity is. Right. Uh, more, three more, four more pieces. Back yeah, you good. Take your time. We, we out here garage selling, so we ain't right. going nowhere. <laughs> Matter of fact, I gotta do a private pick at noon today. Oh, are you? Yeah. If you're, do you ever watch YouTube a lot? Uh, I do. If you if you ever uh, look up the Georgia Picker, that's our, that's our our name on YouTube, and um, okay. and uh, we post pretty much weekly. Yeah. Um, of all of our finds and oh, storage man. units. <laughs> this was my original voltmeter. This oh, wow. is before any digital meters came on. Yeah. I used this. I started in the refrigeration in 1980. Uh-huh. And this was my original. I'm not going to let that go. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, whatever you want to keep. I think this is it's another antique amp probe. Gotcha. Um, so separate from what you've already picked yeah, up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also... Yeah. Uh, uh, this is a, um, I still have Craftsman. It's a commercial. Yeah. Yes. Um, I have yet to figure out what these are. But Craftsman tools, there's a Facebook page yeah. for Craftsman tools. Yeah, we sold a lot of yeah. vintage Craftsman. Um, what is that used for? A six piece telescope, telescope gauge. gauge. Set. No oh, idea. Yeah. Okay, I mean, I it's interesting it's enough. So, probably so 60s, those 70s. Okay. Age. This is definitely interesting enough for me to mess with. Yeah, things that you have. Yeah, yeah. what was this again? Okay. That was a mystery. Yeah. That was the mystery. Hypermeter. Oh. Yeah, that's interesting too. So I'm trying to remember what was what. Mm-hmm. See, even that, even that's interesting. Okay. You know, I'm a gambler, man. I don't do the lottery or anything, but... That's how, yeah, that's how you... If you win more than you lose, you're doing all right. Yeah, you should see that, you know, we did in January, though. Huge coin collection, two guns, a 380 and a 22. Tons of comic books. We sold all the comic books for $4,100. Wow. Yeah, it's... Wow. Think about that one. It's it's pretty, uh, it's pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. Of, um... You know what all we found, but we um. I'm definitely interested in that. See, I'm I'm, a, I'm knowledgeable about some things like stare at flu, but there's some things like see sometimes like stuff like this. I'm just like mm -hmm. I'm out there of my. There was very few of those around. There was a uh, major um, amp probe. Um, and Surrey, those were the major uh, manufacturers of test equipment right. when I started, even before I started back in the 60s and 70s when my dad was in it. Yeah. Okay. So you got 10, 10 there, 20 a feet, uh, for both of them. Um, and I might even find more stuff out there too. Yeah. So. Well, go ahead and finish looking. Okay. And, um, and you think about the price? Okay. Yeah, okay. I, I can think about it. All right, cool. Thank you. Yeah. The yellow jacket stuff's good.
this is fluke also. It just doesn't have the package. Okay, I'll take that if you want to put it in that bin for me. Yeah, I'll take that. Thank you. Another fluke. Another fluke. Mm. Find the fluke stuff all over the place. Okay, I'm gonna add this to my pile. Computer charge. Does this work? That you know of? Uh, let's plug it in. Okay. It's buzzing, mm -hmm. that's for sure. Warm up. Okay, good enough for me. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll throw that out too. Yeah, there's some guys that's just getting in the business or hers broke with that one. Yeah. Oh, she found something she likes. What are those for? <laughs> for whenever we go to estate sales, they're tiny little chairs. Gives her something to sit on. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Well. Because he always insists on going two hours early. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's what you want. Three cents. Two were in control. I standing there. Yeah, yeah we, yeah we were uh, ex Navy. We worked on the F-18 jets. Oh no kidding. Yeah, that's what we used to work you, on, and then. Did you like it? Mm. Why aren't you working for Gulfstream now? I was too scared of the Not anymore. Yeah. Yeah, not anymore. Yeah. 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 Is there another number on there? Give me uh, 50 for the rest of it. Okay. So we're at 130, and then this would be 90 in total, so that'd be... Put it here. So 130 over there. And plus 9? Uh, 40. And it's then 50 for that? So we got 220? Yeah. Give me 220. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. I can do that. And that's fine with me. I hope you find out what that's used for. Double count that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, honestly, like I said, I, I'm, I know little brands here and there, but I don't know everything. But I know Starrett. Like some of this stuff might even surprise me, you know. Mm -hmm. But it's you it just this. okay. Cool. Appreciate that as well. You want to do it since you like organizing? Sorry, <laughs> that's 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 her thing. She likes organizing. I'm gonna <laughs> so. load the dishwasher. Dishwasher. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> load the dishwasher wrong, and I'm all over it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, I'm not. I'm like the the heavy lifter you know get things done type of person but she's like you don't touch my kitchen you don't touch my organizing i do it all myself did nope. the navy teach you that yes <laughs> i have become very anal about it uh -huh. he, he likes that i'm anal about it yeah but because my work come into the kitchen and just throw stuff in the sink with food in it mm -hmm. and i'm just like <laughs> no what have i taught you <laughs> but it's like if i touch it though she's going to yeah, yeah you're, not doing it the right way. you're not doing it right. Yeah, I'd rather load the dishwasher myself. <laughs> yeah, it might be done wrong. Yeah, so I don't, I don't mess with her on that stuff. Yeah, but I appreciate the deal, hey, man. Thank you. You're welcome. Definitely uh, appreciate that. I think and I'm gonna throw in the chairs. I didn't even price the chairs. Oh well, thank you. You didn't have to do that. Take them. Oh well, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Enjoy them. Yes, sir. Hope you sell it all. all right. How much did you want for like oh, these right here? Like all of them. I mean, yeah. There was a third one, right? There's a smaller there's one. There's a second one. There was a third one. Oh yeah. How much you want for those? Just bags and all the gauges. Um, 
There's another one. Oh, another one. Um, this brand new. That's a torch kit. Okay. Uh, for acetylene torches. You can go to the truck. You got my keys. No. A bit. Uh, Did you give them back? No. Give me fifty for all of it. <laughs> Good catch. Fifty for all of them. Give me fifty for all that. Okay. And you have everything that's in the in the box. Okay. That's not a bad deal at all. I'm just trying to figure out if I want to if I want to mess with these, the, you know, the ones that are open. That's the biggest thing. Yeah. I know my, if anything, I know my dad could use them too because mm -hmm. he does yeah, that type I, of stuff. If I were so, to sell them individually, I'd probably sell them for like 20. 20, 20 yeah. A, a manifold. They're called manifolds. Yeah, yeah. I got, I got a set at the house that I've had for about a year and they haven't sold yet. So that's some. <clears throat> hmm. 50 bucks ain't bad at all though. No, no I'm just trying to. What was this? Swedging tool kit. You said 50? Yeah. Let me see what I have. Oh, actually I actually have a 10 of that. That actually goes with that. <clears throat> yeah, let's do it. And those go with that. There you go. Appreciate it. You you take oh, okay, that out. thank you. Yeah. Now I'll be back. <clears throat> thank you. <clears throat> Alright, you guys, so that is going to be the end of the video. So before I actually get into the breakdown, let me talk about a few things. Now there are some brands from this whole entire haul that I did recognize, like Yellow Jacket, you know, a lot of their stuff is pretty decent. You have Green Lee. Now I've never really picked up a whole lot of this stuff in the past, but Green Lee is a great brand, especially if the tool is actually in great condition. Um, you know, Fluke, Stare It, that type of stuff I, I I do really well with. Now the other stuff that I wasn't too sure, like the uh the torch thing that you guys saw me pop up the soul comp for uh, 80 bucks, Turbo Torch, I think that's what it was called. Uh, that actually sold very quick under 24 hours for $80 so be on the lookout for that uh, it has an ARB regulator on it but a lot of the stuff that I picked up I gambled on I didn't look up everything I looked up maybe I don't know four or five things and at the price of $220 for that first entire deal that he uh, that he said 220 on I, I think that was a definitely a fair fair deal especially since I kind of knew what I was gonna get out of certain things for uh, but a lot of stuff really surprised me in the end now I will say that we did spend $270 uh, in total because that second deal right before I left I was like how much would you do for all the the manifolds and I have sold manifolds in the past and I wasn't lying I do have a manifold over here that's been sitting for about a year but it's also because they're older gauges and that might be why um, but nonetheless I was still interested because there were three sealed yellow jacket hoses and one of them already sold for 80 and then two of them are listed for I believe 70 and 100 something like that uh, it's a pretty good deal and then uh, the rest of the manifolds are actually on my ground right there uh, those are not worth listing but we did list one loose one that's I believe I got up there for like 35 so uh, again a lot of stuff I was gambling on but I thought I had $270 in total for everything I thought that that was a, a nice little gamble price for me and a lot of the stuff really really surprised me let's go ahead and do this breakdown so we spent $270 uh, in total and uh, we walked away with one thousand five hundred and twenty eight dollars worth of potential profit that is before we cut deals uh, and that's what I have currently listed slash sold uh, as of this sale was about three weeks ago and we just started listing this stuff about a week and a half ish getting close to two weeks ago and uh, we already sold three hundred and sixty eight dollars from this sale and that puts us in the green by ninety eight dollars and we still have one thousand one hundred and six dollars left uh, of merchandise to sell so overall not a bad garage sale I had to highlight this by itself from all the garage sales that we actually hit up this day because it was so it was so unique the conversations with the guy the fact that he was so knowledgeable about his practice and what he did in the field and um, and all that we had to talking about other stuff too like his sons are uh, uh, in the Marines um, you know I'm ex-navy and uh, it was just an overall great conversation he talked about his dad a lot so uh, and believe it or not this is not the last time we see him we actually did another garage sale with him uh, not not this past Saturday, but a week before, uh, a week before uh, today, and um, he was just having another one, and we found some more good stuff. So uh, overall, very very nice guy, great deals, great salesman. Uh, I love the conversation, and like I told you guys before, the conversations to me is, is like is like half the fun. I love the conversations. I love hearing about his experiences, and he was explaining certain tools to me, and and that is something that I truly enjoy because 
you know, when I picked up half of this stuff, I didn't really know what it was used for, but whenever he explained majority of it, I was like, guess what? Now I know exactly what it does. And on top of that, it expands your horizon. The certain brands that I've never picked up before are now, uh, like my brain's like a sponge. So now I know those brands to look out for. No matter if you guys go to estate sales, garage sales, you know, storage, units, whatever you guys are doing in life, uh, you know, be on the lookout for some of these brands that I showed you guys because they are some good, good money. Um, but with that being said, we have about 70% of the stuff that has watches on it, and um, the other 30% is going to be a little slow. Um, there were a handful of things that we did pick up from this stuff that was not uh, worth listing on eBay, but overall, not a bad haul at all. Uh, any, anytime you can spend $270 to make hopefully over $1,500, that's a pretty good day in my book. Uh, but with that being said, we're getting very, very close to 9,500 subscribers, 12 subscribers away to be exact. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button, please, because we're getting very, very close to 10,000 subscribers. And... Uh, They'd like to see us get to that number. So uh, with that being said, much love. We do appreciate all the love and support. And we'll see you guys next video. It's your boy, George Bigger. Peace. I don't wanna wake up.